Om Shanti and welcome to the 39th day of your blessing and have a blessed Shivratri on this wonderful festival of Mahashivratri. Baba is giving us a beautiful offering and he says, remove all your weaknesses and give it to me. If you remember, if you go to a Hindu temple and if you see a Shivlinga, you will see a lot of devotees, they are actually offering onto the Shivlinga cannabis. That's a form of a hallucination drug. They are even offering something known as moonflower or something which is known as the hell's bell or the devil's weed. And we call it as, you can call it as uh, Bhang Dhatura. These are the names, Hindi names for these things. Now, why do we offer something like this? Onto the Shivalinga. It's not that Shiva actually drinks that or has that or consumes it. It is in a way of showing that we want you God, Father, the incorporeal point of light, the divine being, the one who doesn't have his own body, who doesn't need anything from us actually. Because not having a body, being incorporeal, is a form of a Shivalingam. So Shivalingam is not the actual God, but his form is a point of light. And that is just a depiction. So why do we offer those things on them? It's like when you're praying to God, that God take away all my weaknesses from within. I have got a mind which is hallucinating about my problems. I have a mind which is hallucinating about how my life is fearful, how bad things can happen to me in my life. I'm always hallucinating about those negative things and negative feelings. I'm stressed or I'm sad or I'm confused about my things. So that's a depiction of that hallucination. So human beings are now drugged actually by weaknesses, by sadness, by fear, by doubt. So not just that, we even offer some form of uh, cannabis. We also show something like a health bell, which is also a form of uh, weed. And we say that, God, we are in hell and this health bell is ringing and we are actually in trouble. So kindly wake up. We are offering all this to you. Please wake up. Please listen to our prayers. And please take, take away all these weaknesses. But many of the devotees, they feel that God is actually going to consume all this. He likes all these things. It's not that. The complete meaning is being taken in an opposite manner. It's about saying, God, take away all these weaknesses from me. I've got weakness of anger. I'm into a mood of anger all the time. Just like a person is consumed by alcohol, consumed by drugs, and he's hallucinating. Similarly, I have that complete weakness in which I'm not able to overcome anger or greed or jealousy or, or any form of weaknesses of the five vices. So God, I offer you these things. Please take away these things from me. Similarly, over here in this Vardhan, Baba tries to explain us that how can we get away from those weaknesses? through the form of meditation which we learn at Brahma Kumaris. So let's go ahead and understand this. So Baba says, may you be constantly free and remove any weakness by offering your every thought to the Father. It's not about offering cannabis. It's not about offering the bells, uh, hell's bell or the moon or the moon flower. It's not about offering all those things. It's about offering your weaknesses, your thoughts which are weak actually. So Baba says the easy way to remove all weaknesses is to offer whatsoever comes up in your thoughts to the Father. So we might have a pure thought, we might have an impure thought. So Baba, what do I think? You sit in meditation anywhere and anytime. That's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. You don't need to cross your legs and sit in a particular position or a pose. You don't need to focus somewhere onto the wall. You just are in telepathic, beautiful communication with or communion with the Father, the Supreme Being. And you know where exactly to contact Him because you learned that in Brahma Kumaris. You know that who's contacting the soul I am contacting the supreme soul and I can place my thoughts in front of him and ask him, Baba, what is good? What is the right decision to take as per your knowledge? And that's how the telepathic communication comes and we get to know what is the clarity or what is the clean and the nicest way to go ahead and do any form of karma or any form of action. So what do we do? Baba says, hand over all the responsibilities to the father. You give him all the responsibilities. Because if we start thinking, I can do it, I am the one who is the best, I am the one who can do everything on my own, then we are taking all the burden and that's where a little bit of, you know, those kind of uh, emotions 
where we are hallucinating with anger or greed or jealousy or ego comes in and that's what baba says don't let those weaknesses come back to you by taking all the responsibilities on to you give it away to me that means you offer it to god and god clears up your mind and helps you choose that one right thought which you can utilize to progress ahead which we might not be able to do because of a mind being clogged by so many things so hand over all your responsibilities to the father and you will become free simply have one determined thought while offering this i belong to the father and the father belongs to me such a beautiful thing to say i am yours and you are mine you are there to help me all the time when you remain stable in the stage of having a right because i am father's child so i am there to receive help i deserve it my mind is clean and clear for that so when you remain stable in the stage of having a right dependency will then automatically finish what dependency dependency on people dependency on the moment on the nice situation or the right time or dependency on i hope i don't get angry i hope i don't get uh, frustrated when we depend upon these weak thoughts or weak weaknesses within that dependency will finish completely check at every second am i a master almighty authority we know that all the powers which have been given to us has been mentioned in this video also the link is given below or you can go ahead and learn it in brahma kumaris what exactly does it mean to be a master almighty is god authority that means he's given authority to us to use or utilize all his powers and all his virtues and to be successful in life so check at every moment every second am i a master almighty authority one who has a right to all powers the eight powers have been mentioned in this video itself you can go ahead and look at that like the father god the father is an ocean of power so being his child when i'm meditating i deserve to use all his powers and utilize it for the right work so am i the one who has the right to all the powers or have i forgotten whose child am i have i become body conscious so we can do all these things only when we learn the proper way of meditation and we we'll take this divine knowledge so i request you to go ahead and take this divine knowledge at the brahma kumari center next door to you most probably or in the next street to you so go ahead and do that on this beautiful shivratri om shanti